What's up guys, Connor here, and welcome back to Star Wars Central. Whilst I have a lot of content for you guys in the following week, for now I have some potentially sad news about Star Wars Battlefront. Well, there's good and bad news here, and I'll let you guys decide for yourself, because ultimately it's what you think as to whether this is good or bad. So tell me in the comments below what you guys think about today's news. So this was all revealed on the official Star Wars Battlefront website, there is a link in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. Matthew Everett, our community manager for Star Wars Battlefront, answered the question as to whether the Y-Wing bomber would be a flyable vehicle, as in we, me and you, can fly it in Star Wars Battlefront. Unfortunately, the Y-Wing is an NPC-only vehicle, meaning only the bots or AI will be able to fly the vehicle. This is probably because when you fly the Y-Wing, there'll be a lot of game mode responsibility placed on you, as in the Walker Assault game mode where you actually have to hit the ATAT -AT with a bomb and then allow the rest of your team to shoot and bring it down. Now you can't give that amount of responsibility to a player because if they miss, it's not fair on the rest of the team who have spent the last five minutes securing the uplink station. So that's probably why the NPC only thing is with the Y-Wing. Although I would like to see a new game mode in the future where we can actually use and fly the Y-Wing, but I'm guessing that'll probably be for DLC. Since at the moment all we have confirmed is the release build and then the Battle of Jakku DLC. So maybe the Y-Wing is a playable vehicle in the Battle of Jakku DLC and it'll be a surprise to us, but at the moment I think it's going to be later down the line that they add it as a playable vehicle. So tell me what you think down in the comments below. Are you happy that we can't fly the Y-Wing? Are you happy that the AI will never miss and it'll be fair on all the players fighting on the ground side of things? Or do you wish that we had more freedom to be able to make our own choices in the game? Tell me what you think in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching and may the Force be with you.